I mean, uh, one of the key principles of our uh, code of principles is uh, nonpartisanship. Uh, you cannot be tied to a political body and be a fact checker. That's just, you can, I don't care what you call yourself, you're just not a fact checker. And so if I see a government project or a government affiliated project here and anywhere in the world, even with the, uh, the EU has a, a disinformation project, they're not fact checking projects. They may do good work, they may not, but their proximity to power makes them too uh, um, easy, I guess, to have an, an interest uh, with their findings and with the selection of their claims. Uh, and so, to readers especially, just don't go to them. Go to real fact checkers. Yeah, I mean, I think most uh, uh, ethical and uh, uh, scrupulous journalists fact check their own stuff. I think we should be mindful of also there has been a sort of a, a practice of uh, accepting claims by politicians without fact checking them because it was news. And so I would put it uh, on the on the newspaper in the article, even if it isn't true. That really should end. We shouldn't be running anything in our stories that hasn't been verified because the credibility of the whole piece hinges on that. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of the key principles of our uh, code of principles is uh, nonpartisanship. Uh, you cannot be tied to a political body and be a fact checker. That's just, you can, I don't care what you call yourself, you're just not a fact checker. And so if I see a government project or a government affiliated project here and anywhere in the world, even with the, uh, the EU has a, a disinformation project, they're not fact checking projects. They may do good work, they may not, but their proximity to power makes them too uh, um, easy, I guess, to have an, an interest uh, with their findings and with the selection of their claims. Uh, and so, to readers especially, just don't go to them. Go to real fact checkers. Uh, it's difficult, not very well. There's no millionaire fact checker. Um, they'll look for funding from uh, foundations. Uh, they'll also do a lot of crowdfunding uh, and try to get the readers to support them. Um, in general, we recommend uh, they'll also do sell trainings and sell their content to other media outlets. The one thing we recommend is a diversified uh, funding uh, strategy so that you can feel and be and appear independent. Uh, the more you have different layers of funding, uh, the healthier uh, you'll be and the more readers will trust you. We have uh, two excellent uh, fact-checking and debunking organizations, Dogruluk Pai and Tayit. Um, they do great work. Uh, they are signatories of the Code of Principles. Dogruluk Pai is actually on the advisory board of the IFCN. I think they're very serious projects. They're very methodical and scrupulous projects. Um, and so if there are others that are inspired to follow their example, so much the better, I think. Uh, both organizations are happy to, uh, to help others out.